Ooh. Spear, nice? science, physics, engineering, and research. Um. Yeah, you gotta go quick with those. I have to go a mile a minute. You gotta be a motor mouth. Can you motor your mouth? <laughs> but then you can't stop to enunciate all the expression. Tough. Aww. No expression, no enunciation, just word vomit. <laughs> uh oh, spikes. Spikes. That doesn't really scare me that so much. So I wonder if this births the goo. <laughs> it looks like it's more of a uh, fungal system. Uh. There's just something about birthing goo that just seems gross. Well, drops? Buds? What other manner of reproduction would be? I prefer less, like, regular terms such as splorps out. A splorp. Or, uh... It's not osmosis. Osmosis is where they absorb it. So, they were saying that... Yeah. Whoops. Dang. They were saying that these other worlds are other Earths. Yeah. So, is it possible that none of these peoples are spacefaring? Or, nah, some of them are. Maybe. But. What is Gootopia then? Uh, it's the land of the Goo people. Or yeah, the Goo but... things. I'm not entirely sure if they qualify as people. Because the Reptarians make sense, it's if the dinosaurs never went extinct. The robots make sense because, you know, robots take over Earth, but... Who? Who? I can understand if it was a complex structure is never formed and everything, everything remained just as Everything stayed goo forever? Yeah, but if you notice, there are definitely trees, there's definitely vegetation, there's even carnivorous plants that actively uh, spit at you. So there has to be something more. Yeah. There we go. They uh, die pretty easy. It's kind of nice, actually. <clears throat> the second sphere outpost is ahead. Past the goo pit. Goo. Something goo pits. The gooey goo pits. Oh. Uh, that's not what it actually was, but I'm just making something up. I do really appreciate that there's a slowdown when throwing things. Mm -hmm. I, it allows you to aim, just in ow. time. Oh no. I had that problem in, uh, Flint Hook. Wonderful roguelike. Really fun. But you are, like... The entire point of the game is to, uh... uh the entire point of the game is you're, like, grappling hook from spot to spot. And the problem is, uh... You had to do it in, like, full real-time. And some of them were, like, merciless, like... You would take boatloads of damage if you missed. And I missed a lot. Oh, oh no. I don't know. Every once in a while I just hit a game where I'm just like, I just don't have the time or the skill to, like... get good enough at this fast enough to enjoy it. I always wondered by what measure people made the difficulty of games. Because they're easy. There's even difficulty modes. So do they gauge it depending on, hey, easy mode, even young children should be able to play, or maybe someone in their early teens, or. But is it age? Because age doesn't necessarily define skill, it's practice and a host of other factors. Yeah. I think age mainly is just kind of experience. It's like the lazy man's way of saying that, like, yeah, you're old enough to kind of uh, handle this sort of thing. Because I'm just wondering, when they have their QA testers yeah. or their design team, do they have a bunch of people play of different levels of experience? No, generally it's a bunch of uh, low-paid, you know, 20 to 30-somethings. 
what mean, if they what? were all expert gamers and they're like, no, this is easy. This is uh, too easy. And then everyone tries to play the game. So like, I, oh, I've it's talked so about that with a, with a couple of games. Uh, Darksiders, I think, was kind of an okay ex example of that. Where it was a game where it was largely made by people that were experienced with the game. These guys are endless, apparently. I oh. guess I'm just going to beat them up and get enough energy in case there's a boss fight or something. I was hoping that that little pile of liquid behind you in the broken would tank deplete. would have depleted. Yeah. Doesn't look like it, though. Something leads me to believe that these were created then as opposed to a natural occurrence. Maybe that's what she'll discover. Well, I just killed them all, so... Oh. Well, it looks like you just stopped the goo from being... Uh, so apparently we missed quite a number of these, actually. Ah, three. Activate a terminal for more information. Psychic. Ooh. Okay. Healing Oh, character. I see. So some of these are equipable. Level two, one out of six. Oh, I see. We need, we need five more to level up again. So yeah, we might come back and uh, redo some of these once we get extra stuff. I apparently also got Gootopia Speed Demon. I don't even feel like I went that slow. <laughs> or that fast. That fast, you mean? Yeah. yeah. I found a machine that was creating gooblins non-stop. Luckily, I was able to shut it down. Did you see anything else? Any kind of clue uh, of who did this? I'm afraid I, didn't see, I don't see anything, Skip. But if this is a Rift Lab... Does it mean someone from Rift was responsible? Certainly lines up with Wiseheart's suspicions. Guess we'll have to keep investigating. Zara, wait a second. The scanner has detected a dimensional anomaly in your area. I see. It looks like someone has opened a portal near me. Could it be Suspect X? Only one way to know. I'll go check it out. What if there's a boss fight after every one of these? That would be interesting. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's the shadow version of you that we saw in the... Uh -huh. <laughs> I finally meet you. What? Zara Sinclair, agent of Rift. How do you... Wait a second, you're... Me. But stronger. Zara Sinclair? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What do you want? Did you use an illegal portal? I don't care about Rift and its rules. I go wherever I want. Neither you nor your friends will stop me from destroying Rift. Destroy Rift? Are you nuts? Why would you even... Wait. Are you in league with Suspect X? Is that what this is about? I have no idea what you're talking about. But mark my words, Agent Zara. I will get my revenge. And you won't stop me. Agent! You... Wait! Don't just leave! Skip, do you read me? Something... Weird just happened. Zara, you have to tell me about that other Zara you found. It was the strangest thing ever, Skip. I've never found... Other myself? Is, is that even possible? Technically it is, but it's also extremely improbable. She's you, but from another dimension where something is different. Well, clearly she was never accepted into Rift. She hates Rift. And yet she could open portals with her own Rift. Or her on her own without Rift. Same as Suspect X. She probably has access to the same kind of tech. I think they might be related somehow. I have to figure out who she is. And what she wants. And what's her role in all this? If I find any more information about Rogue Zara, I'll let you know. Skip. Did you just say Rogue Zara? I think that's a catchy name for her. Agent Zara versus Rogue Zara. Doesn't it sound great? <laughs> Later, Skip. Let's go back and help the, help the plant man. Well, first... Oh, you're gonna level up first. Okay, so these are passives. Or, no, these are permanents. So, Slide Kick, X plus Stick Down. 
And so down right in the air lets me do that. So we can also get health up, fly kick, health up again, skyward strike. Okay, so what do we grab? Well, let's grab energy radar and healing factor. So we can also get hooky, shield. It's probably more, uh, slows down time or longer time. Like, hook onto things. Oh, that makes sense. Dodge, a shield, heal more, less damage, hit harder. Don't know, probably dodging, maybe. Uh, more energy from killing enemies. Hmm. An extra nice dodge theory. meter or energy meter. Uh, Ooh, stuff. is that double jump down there? This? Yep. yep. Oh, double level 13. Double jump level 13. Oh, no. All right. Looks uh, like they have see. nothing new. They get the. I wonder what's the story behind this trophy. Show item. Go. What's that, Sinclair? Sarge, I think I found a solution for your problem. It's some shrinking goo I found in Gootopia. I'm told that if you rub it on, you'll get smaller. That sounds pretty dangerous. I don't know about this. I worked pretty hard to get these muscles. What if they don't come back? Skip told me it's only temporary. It should be safe. It only lasts a few hours. Really? That sounds great. I can finally leave the gym. I've been so lonely. Let me try it. But Sarge, where did he go? This is amazing. Oh man, I can finally get the showers. Thanks, Sinclair. Oh, he's about I'll probably her go back now. to his regular voice, but still. <laughs> this freaking goo is powerful. You should sell this stuff. Make sure you only use it in small quantities. I'm surprised we didn't get to talk with Good Lady. Oh, nice poncho. Hello, Commissioner. I've been reading your reports. This mysterious other Zabra. That must be difficult to deal with. Such an unusual event. I really wish I knew what's going on with her. But thanks for asking. Ah, I see Hollister and you are going on out on adventures. Reminds me of the old days. Dash and I were partners when we were agents. Like you and Hollister. We solved many cases together, such as the infamous Montauk Affair. It sounds like you had a lot of fun adventures. Those were the good times, Sinclair. But let's focus on our current case. Alright, nothing else. I guess we could go up? I... Doubt we didn't we're gonna retrieve find anything much. from the other rooms, and we don't have any more evidence to show anyone. Yeah, so anyone. we gotta just keep doing missions for a little while. Hopefully the energy radar will kind of give us more of a... So are you still at level 1, or have you gotten up we, to level We we got up to level... Well, we just reached level 1. We're level 0. So... So that means we need to go to... Fun... Uh, Thunder yeah, Dome? why don't we go to the Thunderdome for n or Thunder Dome for now? Agent Pineapple has information about Honcho's illegal activities. Find him and learn what evidence he has against Honcho. I really wonder if is this what they meant by the food? Like the places of well, people's made of food. So maybe this guy's literally going to be a pineapple. No, this is a robot one. If I remember. Uh, right. Okay, we'll have to see. Bright neon lights, music, and possibly tall brick buildings. All kinds of fun. The city is great. It's beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, it's a bit dangerous. Your mission is to rendezvous with Agent Pineapple, so stay sharp. He's the rough agent who has been investigating Honcho, right? Correct. He says he has important information that, uh, about him that could be helpful to our case. Pineapple is a legendary undercover agent. I can't wait to meet him. Haneda Boulevard. RNG simulations. Papa, Quapa, Algorithm, Servo, Servo, Servos, Funky's Arcadium. All right, Funky was a character that we were going to be meeting. Psst, Zara, over here. Who's there? It's me, Pineapple, this way. 
Agent Pineapple? Oh! <laughs> Act by name. Don't wear it out. Come on. We don't have all day. Oh, so that's him wearing a disguise, yeah. but he's also Okay, I, I'm going to go back to the hard-boiled voice. I'm sorry. I uh, didn't recognize you. Of course you didn't. I'm a master of disguise. I can see that. So, what info do you have on Honcho? I've been gathering tons of evidence. Not just about Honcho. That Suspect X case you're in, I think I can help. You know something about Suspect X? I've been tracking Rift agents here in the Thunderdome. I've compiled a list that I like to call the Pineapple Files. Target acquired, start return operation, deploy assassins. Agent Pineapple! Oh no! Oh! Unhands I... that fruit! Oh, these are cute little robots. Are they enforcers or agents for assassins? Some other... Yeah, assassins. That's what they are. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Do we go in a door or no? No, there's there's an entrance to that building yeah, right there. Yeah, it just. I think you just walk in it. I was really hoping I could like fire that, but it looks like there's an upper area there. Those robots have abducted, abducted Agent Apple. I have to stop them. Pineapple. Wait, Pineapple? Yeah, he's Agent Pineapple. Oh, sorry. Did I just say Apple? Yeah, you just called him regular Agent Apple. <laughs> Agent Apple. Alliteration. No, oh. Pineapple. I like the digital bonsai trees. How do I Those do this? Neat touch. Oh, increases the radius that attracts enemy I d things drop from enemies. Dang, I was... Really hoping you would actually like. Oh, and there's a statue of a sta statue of Hanjo over there. There you go. We have a way up now. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit. Oh. I mean, there's nothing there. We we got what we needed. Mm-hmm. We. Yeah, keep an eye out for Upgradium hiding around here. Mm. Some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. Some well, are... Since this world is a bit more purple, it might be difficult, but we'll see. Mainly look for things that are mildly out of place. Mm -hmm. You know, there's usually a tell. Robo tested, honcho approved. Octopus Prime Sushi. Octopus Prime. I can see them flying ahead, up and forward. Okay, so what is here? Oh. Some kind of street. Yeah, we've got this lower section. I almost feel like you'll have to use the upper area in order to pursue them, but for the time being, I, do, will you just have endless robots to fight? And was that a way down back there? I don't know. Yeah, I... I feel like it wants me to go a lot of different directions. Oh, oh there's one. There's one. There's a crystal. Bonk. Oh, it didn't get him. ED209 keeps, keeps you, you jumping, jumping all, all night, night long. long. Oh, there's another one. Uh, another one. Admittedly, I probably came the wrong direction here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the lights go out. And then you fall through. Okay, so we just gotta go up. There we go. Barely. Megabytes. Get out of here. Great. <laughs> okay, was there anything else here, or is that just, uh... Spotlight, searchlight. I think so. Probably. So we probably have to make our way around and then up to that one. Wow! Or call droid sales bot. Okay. I guess let's stay in the upper section for a bit. It seems 989. like. 
They're headed to that skyscraper up ahead. And then we're probably going to want to loop around back down or something. Yeah, okay, so that's... That's where we're supposed to go. So let's first beat up a bunch of robots. So there's Ow. no lower entrance. I forgot how to dodge for a second. Oh, interesting. Cannot roll while holding things. Wow, okay. You know how they were talking about, like, healing is, like, slow, so be careful when you do it? Mm -hmm. That upgrade I got, uh, changes that pretty... So, yeah, because you healed twice. Well, once there, was it? Because I only work. see one... one I think these robots gone. are infinite, too. Uh, let's see. Can I go down yeah. here? No. Karaoke. Let's see. It doesn't look like we've got any more crystals here. I'm going to do one more pass down this section, but it looks like I'm just going to be biffing robots endlessly. Mm -hmm. mm. The fact that they're constantly responding is a little bit of a nuisance. Eh, but you're right, they are, they really. are angels. They are not angels, but ninjas. Yeah. What did I say? Angels. Uh, you were probably thinking assassins. Uh, uh-huh. And then your brain just went completely elsewhere for some reason. Oh, right. Can't have this. Mint ninjas. I mean, some media... Oh! Oh! Oh, good. Good. Good catch. Recovering. I can do things. Oh, okay. I guess they are actually floating around there. Not that. Is a no shooting at me zone. As is tradition. Okay, so there is a oh, thing. Oh, I can just get up. I can just uh, use that to get up to these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh right, I you forgot. The, you have the down ability now. Did Did you spend points into those? Whoa! Look. This is an elite soldier. He you say elite. He doesn't look cute and chibi. <laughs> it's particularly susceptible to combos. Well, he wasn't a chibi. There might be something up to the top right, but I don't think I can get to that. Maybe you need double jumps. Yeah. Oh, I don't know there's how... one. Right there. Uh, oh. Mm. Yeah. Gaggle. Gaggle. I think that's one of those things where you have to work your way around. Yeah, we're gonna have to come from below. Whee. I wonder what that binary yep. says. Someone will probably know how to read it in your chat. I think people have commented in your YouTube videos with yep. binary yeah. translations. Yep. Yeah, I just fell straight through that platform. Oh. That's a weird one. Wait, that's a, a balloon machine? It just oh. inflates balloons? Oh, that's cute. You have to avoid the uh, the lights because it'll pop your balloon. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Oh, they're electrified. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I'm glad they gave us the uh, down kick combo. It's fun, actually. All right, creepy, creepy balloon. <laughs> Yeah, it has some kind of stabilizers or nodules. I can't tell what they are. It's not exactly a... No, that sign said Funky's Arcadium down there. Yeah. Ah. Nope. Okay. I guess I might as well Mario heal up S? over here. There we go. Mark 7. Wait, what? I don't think I've missed any elsewhere. Simulated Chance Casino? I don't know if we're supposed to go up. There's tons of arrows pointing that way. Yeah, I'm mainly just trying to decide if there's... If there's any more crystals. Aha. Ah, there we go. I'm going to go straight down. Because, yeah, the more crystals we can get, the more... Uh, the, the more, more upgrades. Upgrade. I mean, really, I just want to get double jump. It's weird to play a platformer without double jump, right? It makes me feel weird. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. 
I, it feels fine, honestly. All right, we gotta balloon That's up. More realistic in that sense, though. I suppose yeah. in a sci-fi universe, you might have a propulsion jump jets beam. and a bunch of other things. Yeah. Oh, those guys are chumps. We. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's neat. You can actually hit enemies through other enemies, and it uh, it actually damages them. Not oh. a lot of whole lot. Of, there aren't a whole lot of games that do that, and I, I really enjoy the ones that do. Yeah, I love it when they take other um, o physics objects, but even ally like their allies. If you fling their allies into them, it it's, can affect them. Yeah, it's actually a, a semi common complaint for me. I'm like, man, I really wish this game had. Oop. That feature. No, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Ah! Ah, one nul nullify the other. Yeah, I didn't realize the bombs would, uh... Would hit each other like that. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go up. Keep an eye out for crystals. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I suppose you might be able to platform up there. Or not? No. Yeah, it looks like it's just supposed to arrest your fall. There might be a way to get up. It looks like there's a... What am I doing? Oh, that didn't work. What's wrong? Oh, uh, I was gonna try and fall through the uh, electric section. I, I'm just... I'm not gonna say I'm just screwing around, but I'm definitely not taking it as seriously as I probably should. Oh. <laughs> he punched a bomb. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh. So. So it's just the neon lights. Like, yeah, flickering the out. neon lights just switch out. I'm I'm just being impatient. Uh, okay. So earlier today we were watching Spider Man, mm -hmm. and we were talking about like superhero stuff. And what constitutes as a superhero yeah. story or no, you in the superhero dick. genre? Yeah. What exactly makes a superhero story versus like a regular story? You know, is well, more like a sci-fi fantasy or hero. You know, yeah, would you would you qualify uh, Star Wars as superhero, even though like? Well, I, as we discussed then, the basis of what makes superhero movies different from, say, just a band of adventurers face the Dark Lord. Oh. If someone had told me this morning I'd be chasing robots and a pineapple on a balloon. Oh, there's there's one right over there. Oh. Maybe you need to take the balloon all the way up and over? Yeah, we'll probably have another balloon right here. Nope. Oh, oh. Well, oh. I didn't even realize that was going to do that. Yeah, because one thing we were saying, well, what distinguishes a superhero from normal people? And, well, the powers are one thing, but in many science fiction and fantasy adventures, people do have powers, whether it's magic, magic, magic or swords, technology. Superhuman durability and other things. Something that's been genetically modified or bred into people. You know, things like that. But also, we, we realized, huh, you know, there's an element of openness. People don't have to worry about alter egos or concealing their identity from their friends and family. But then we we were starting to think of, well, why is it that in a science fiction or fantasy setting, you wouldn't really have that? And I suppose it's because in those universes, not enough is mundane. Because unless magic is really, really scarce and technology is as well or even outlawed or something, what what reason would they have to... Oh. This looks like it would be a really nice mall if it wasn't so full of assassin robots. You're probably intently focusing on a little bit, yeah. Everything. I brought up this topic so I could focus on platforming. <laughs> that too. Oh. Yeah. And the other thing too is, well, the setting itself, because we were discussing how it seems like 
for the proper mix of, you know, requiring a an alter ego and then having powers that are beyond what one should normally have when in other genres having abilities like that are the norm. Uh, it, the reason why superheroes take place in either Earth's history or Earth's modern era is because it allows for those circumstances to occur. And also, I think you were discussing how social media is a part of it. You know, you have people taking pictures and spreading it around on the internet or in the newspaper and stuff. And so news of a super being would get spread about really easily. So that's why anonymity would be crucial. It's kind of... It's not as smooth as Sundered. So it's a little hard to do the back and jump, forth. Jump, 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 jump. Ah. Because, like, I almost get it. I think it's because you have a little bit of that slide. And if you slide too much, don't you lose the ability to jump? Yeah, oh. I, I'm actually not sure what happens. It's like I can only jump off of a handful of them before she just kind of like... Maybe you should make sure it's not an ability you need to trait into. Uh. Oh, well, that's because it fizzles out. Well, no, it, it fizzles out, but if you notice, sometimes she doesn't... Oh. Yeah, see there? Oh. Maybe, she, maybe it is a trait. She doesn't always... I think there's actually a bit of a delay, but... <gasps> you got it! Between when it triggers and when it doesn't. Excellent. Just a little bit more. I think there might be another one of these, though. Oh, so you're not going to go down that? I wanted to see if there was... I wanted to see if there's something on the left as well. Oh, dang. I'm being impatient here. Oh. So they just turned off. It, it just feels like... There might be something on the left side of the map, too. Mm -hmm. oh. Might be oh. a little tight. No, that's interesting. Yeah, there is like a delay or something between like wall jumps, so it doesn't do the multi wall jump particularly well. Now, there's no way to go the other direction. Pretty much. You float too swiftly. Yeah, keep an eye out for other ones. Now, was this part of the area that you got to, or should you have jumped all the way down? Uh, I don't think there's anything down. Okay. I could be wrong. Hey, drop Agent Pineapple right now. Assessing mission directives. Assessment concluded. Drop target conditions are false. Relocating. Zara, help. They're threatening to turn me into a pina colada. I'm coming, Pineapple. But there we go. Robots wouldn't we... even be able to, to drink a pina colada. Unless they were to give it to one of their tourists. Doesn't they say they made yeah, this into a Yeah, it's a tourist for planet? other people. I like how they have these, like, weirdly intense... Ow. These weirdly intense robots. Yeah, so if, if I don't uh, do anything, I just press the dodge button. Mm -hmm. uh, she just poses. Kind of adorable, actually. Okay. I'm not sure which of these. Uh, let's try going down. All right, so you're all healed up. Hmm. Down seems like the right way to go. Let's go up. They keep taking him up, though, but... Oh, Aha. you got it. Aha! We. Oh. Oh. 
what's going on? Do you see something? Yeah, this whole section. Oh, dang it. It anytime you have to go through extra challenge for anything, it means there's a there's rewards yep, at the end. Yep, there's a special something. Like okay, this is a jump wall. The Chinko. There you go. Falls Falls Resort. Uh, not yet. Ah! Ah! Robots! Get out of here! Ah! Yeah, the bombs can hit each other, which makes perfect sense. Okay, do we have anything else here? I think we've uh, largely... Yeah, it looks like you're just supposed to go up. Yeah, looks like I'm just supposed to go up. Okay. Oh, there are recolors of the robots. Yeah, they had the red ones, what was it, purple and then blue? Yeah. I just couldn't tell if there's anything else hiding around here. There's Answer a... is, don't look like it. Save point. What? I'm catching up to them. Up to that building ahead. I don't mind time platforms like this, but boy does it just mess with my impatience. I'm like, I can make it. Very much can't. Yep. Whoa, and that's a huge gap. Yeah, it's, we gotta go up though. There's... really like these balloons. Okay, so we'll be on the lookout for anything special. Just in case. Oh, oh, there you go. Good. There we go. Awesome. Whee. And then we drop down. Um. And there's nothing there. Well, problem <laughs> solved. I cracked the case. I'm still probably missing a lot more, but whatever. I still don't feel like I'm now gonna get- Now what's the one out of three ghosties? Oh, these are waves, right? Maybe that's what it means. Yep. Oh. So this is why they gave us dive kick. So I could dive kick these guys out of the air. Wah. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> the way that you go Ow. sailing is impressive. Ow. Oh hey, look, there's pineapple in the right corner. Yep. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> I got him on the rebound. Do you know what? Uh, just a terrible thought came to mind. What? The whole, like, you know how there's the expression beat to a pulp? Yes. For a pineapple, that actually could happen. And it would be accurate. Pineapple. I could use a pina colada. All right, so we missed a couple. Not too many. I think we missed three. Again. Mm hmm. No, you, you only missed two. Not bad. It would be nice if there was like a, a upgrade that you could get that would ping. It's like, by the way, you're missing one in this area. Or a map. Mm -hmm. You saved me, Zara. Thank you. I shudder just thinking of what Hancho would have done to me. One of my informants must have backstabbed me. I'm sure Hancho paid them well. But I'm afraid one of the robots ran away with the pineapple files. Oh no! All that info about rift agents that had been visiting the Thunderdome, right? As well as evidence of Honcho and the Seven Clans blackmailing rift agents to turn a blind eye to illegal activities. Well, don't worry. I'll figure something out. Now, come back to HQ with me. The Thunderdome has become dangerous for rift agents. Yeah, I... We have succeeded. Okay, so what do we get? Extra energy dropped from enemies. Eh. Regenerating energy shield that can absorb damage. Invincibility while dodging. Now, do you upgrade these or are they just permanent? Like, this is. So I get three slots here, yeah. and then these are permanent. So oh. I have five extra units of health, and I can also do a fly kick. Oh. So there's the fly kick. I think I might turn the shield off, though, because it is distracting. 
Uh, I never like it when there are effects that yeah, impede your... Like, it, it would be great if it was, like, it would only show up when it got hit, but no, it was, like, a perpetual thing, and it was like, ah, it's a little much to look at. 